let's try to understand what kind of hardware you need in order to set up your own lab in this lecture we will come to know what are the things that we are gonna set it up for this entire series so in this Microsoft Intune training series you need to have all these uh, required devices so that you could you know practice along with me if not you could you know definitely happily check on my videos I'm planning also to uh, provide you self uh, service meaning uh, you know self interactive guides um, so that you could you know practice with that but I just need you know some kind of you know support by liking sharing and definitely I could you know put some additional uh, efforts in order to you know release such kind of you know labs for anybody to practice over the internet so that being said first thing uh, for the lab creation uh, you definitely need a domain controller so I don't want to you know create one more video because I have many times have created so you could you know check out this link or you could you know check in this video description uh, on how to create your domain controller so this talks about a, any server 2019 or 2022 server you can pick it up and create a domain controller and then you join a system also to domain so that also will be explained in this video next thing would be the uh, without domain join device oh, so why we are doing all this is let's say in tune if I want to you know manage my on-premises active directory managed Windows client devices then this scenario is needed right the first scenario which I'm talking about in this case this scenario uh, to manage your on-premises devices whereas if the devices are actually coming only cloud meaning if the device is not joined then also it's okay uh, we can manage with the Microsoft Intune so ideally you need to have at least two devices that's what I'm trying to say uh, of course you can always oh, start with only one device and later point you can you know uh, rejoin that device to some other device uh, I mean for you could repurpose that for additional testing purpose of course you know uh, in these scenario also we would be you not know, doing the autopilot also with these uh, configuration so ideally you need to have a domain controller uh, one system joined to domain and one system without domain join so that we can explore all the window specific uh, configurations along with the autopilot okay now uh, when it comes to uh, mobile devices you there are two different type of mobiles right we talk about all the time one is the Apple devices other one is the Android devices so in this uh, again uh, I'm going to talk about the enrollment profile all of that that is a next lecture uh, it might be confusing but understand for your lab purpose you need to have each type at least one or two devices uh, why I'm saying each type each type is Android or uh, Apple devices so Apple is like iPhone iPad and Mac is there so each of these at least one one device should be recommended to have if you do not have don't worry if you have whatever the one device also fine or you could you know see my end user experience because I'm going to record and show you proper end user experience how this will be there throughout this series so no worries in just in case if you do not have uh, but you, if you want to you know, practice along with me it's good to have some kind of devices either Android or iPhone I'm pretty sure at least one of the device you might have any of the device just for you know temporary purpose uh, for this lab setup so what we do is with these devices uh, like you know uh, this is called BYOD uh, called bring your own device meaning it's a personally owned device um, so that scenario we would be testing like a user brings his own uh, mobile phone and he will install on that all the company applications and we will protect with Microsoft Intune all those applications and uh, followed by same thing for Apple devices and I devices that's called the bring your own device and also we would you know test it uh, how we onboard when bring your own devices uh, even corporate devices with the Windows and Mac and Linux devices also we would uh, look into it same thing here company won't again as I said earlier uh, one device for Windows one device for Apple devices uh, like iPhone iPad uh, I, iPhone or iPad both are different actually but the 
type would be the almost the same so you can use one or any of one is also fine for you for BYOD or company owned but again for the company owned you need to have some additional uh, portal that we called Apple Business Manager so it's not easy to get that portal if you're working in a real time yeah you would have that but for a lab purpose you cannot get it that so when a company uh, own devices forget about the Apple devices my friends okay it's very simple you forget about company owned devices for Apple devices in your lab because you cannot get some additional portal which is required you cannot get it that okay so what else you can do is you could you know follow me uh, along with me so that I would you know record from my production or from my somewhere else I would you know show you how to do that now when we talk about Windows, Linux, Mac devices, these also company-owned devices, we would be you not know, testing. That's why we need these devices. And as I said earlier, for Windows, we also do the autopilot. Even uh, iPad, iOS devices also, that's uh, Apple devices also, we do the uh, simple um, autopilot. That's a smart auto autopilot we would be doing. Even for the uh, Android devices, we call it as a zero touch. So we would, you know, test that. So having these devices would definitely help you out uh, one or other way so that's not the end uh, of course the list goes lot if you are really interested to learn more and more for example co-management um, which we little bit understand about in the previous lecture about the co-management which is a bridge between uh, moving your workloads right um, when you do the cloud attach if you remember um, we did you know talked about the uh, second lecture if I'm correct so go back and check out the second lecture or first lecture which have these capabilities so for this you need to have the config MGR server and at least one of the uh, Windows devices should be available so we call it as config MGR server or a system server or you call it uh, Microsoft configuration manager current branch whatever it is so at the end it's the uh, config MGR server so that server is needed and then one of the devices should be there at least one or two devices uh, good to have so that we would be uh, converting these devices uh, to report to Microsoft Intune portal and then we would set up some kind of configurations and we push uh, from Intune console we monitor and also we will do some activities from SCCM also so it's a mix of configuration we would be testing in the config MGR so let's review what we have learned or what we are gonna perform it so simple if you need to set up a lab on your own you need to have at least couple of windows servers or mobile devices so whatever you have that is enough you don't need to buy anything to um, make in depth with the existing devices you should be able to learn the reason why i'm saying is if you start doing with one uh, or two type of devices at least that makes really helpful to learn other missing device configuration for you so let's jump into next lecture i hope this short lecture is useful for you if you really like it please do subscribe and like and share this lecture is part of complete microsoft intune training series where we would be discussing complete uh, microsoft intune training from zero to hero uh, which includes all the real time uh, best practices step by step instructions and this series also consists of interview questions if you are interested you can also check for other series that are part of very similar to the series